Yes, boss. 444 The World back in here again once again, man. Happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Some people thought that they got over on you when in reality you were just showing them love. You know what I'm saying? This is a perfect way to end off the week. One of them topics, you know what I'm saying, that I have tucked always. So, here's the deal. Sometimes, you could be doing something from the heart or doing it out of love. And somebody, that the person that you're doing it for may think that you're a dumbass or you're an idiot or you're a come up or you're a lick. But the everything they could think of in their mind they never ruled it out as yo maybe this person really loves me and maybe this person really rocks with me and in reality one thing i've learned is a lot of people who've experienced bs or have done bs when it comes to receiving something good and they've never really got it they don't know how to treat it or handle it some people look at it as yo maybe this person's just a lick or they're just a come up for me but they never even say, yo, this person did it out of love or whatever the case may be. Some people feel like you will never leave them or it's automatic or, yeah, you should be giving to me. In real reality, I'm going to be honest with you, dog. That's like a backwards mindset. It really is backwards. A lot of people who are in poverty or are stuck in a poverty mindset, like mindset, they think like this. Oh, this person is this Oh. They, 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 they just dumb. Like, no. If a person really, really is trying to help you, it's a reason as to why they're trying to do that. But at the very same time, you have to understand that nobody out here is a dumbass. Nobody out here is a lick. You have to be careful of how you treat people. Because it's going to haunt you when you find out that the blessing God gave you, you forfeited it. So example, I say this all the time. You could be a person who's in a situation where you pray to God for something. Take it however you need. You need a spouse. You need a, uh, you need a friend. You need something, right? God gives it to you and then you forfeit it thinking, yo, maybe this person's an idiot, dog, or they're just a dumbass. No, this person actually loves you. But you trying to be like so extra for the world, you're going to overlook that to go do something that might either chase that person away, drive them away, whatever the case may be. But you have to realize that sometimes if you don't open your eyes, it's going to it's going to be damn near too late for you. bro. Some people have this high or they get a high off of knowing, yo, this person loves me, this person needs me or whatever. But if that person was supposed to pick up and withdraw themselves, you would feel sick. That's the thing. You have to understand that you're not going to find a lot of genuine people in the world. And that's why when people get genuine people, they don't know how to handle them. They just mistreat them, talk down on them, abuse them, walk over them, treat them like they're a doormat whatever the case may be but in real reality it's like dog this is what it is that you prayed for if you ask god for something and he finally gave it to you like just try and be mindful try and open your eyes the best way you can there are some people living in the world that just move around freely and they just wreck shop wreak havoc just wrecking shop with everything and it's like dog you're not being mindful that you're damaging everything inside or you're just doing all of this extra shit. And it's like, when will you ever stop or ever realize that, yo, you could be hurting yourself? You feel me? Sometimes you have to realize some people are stubborn. Some people, they picked up certain habits and they won't let it go. But at the end of the day, there's there's different ways that the ball can spin that you can look at the situation. Once you're mindful or you try to open your eyes or Pay attention or practice gratitude for whatever it is that you have. You're going to see the difference unfold in your life, dog. You're never going to get a W off of just, hey, I, I need a W, God, and God's just going to give it to you. No. How would you ever learn how to appreciate that W? You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, little, it's little things out here that shows you that there's ways out here that you can go about changing or 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 not being so much of a like a like a how can I say it unappreciative for whatever it is that God gave you because I'm gonna be honest and I never said this on camera when you get something that you prayed for you really prayed for it dog 
whether it's friend, spouse, or whatever the case may be, guess what happened? You deciding to turn it away to do fuckery, it's like saying you're denying God, dog. Think about that, bro. God, I need a friend. I need this, that, and the third. God gave it to you. I don't want this shit. Take it back. Literally, it's like nothing that God, anything God sends you is never good enough. You're just going to ruin and destroy and dismantle it anyways. It's just like a kid. If you, get a, if you give a kid a toy and then they mash down the toy, yo, you're not going to get a new one until you learn how to play with your toys and take care of them properly. People have heard this before. Oh, yeah, my child doesn't do this, or I have a cousin like this, or I have a child who... You get what I'm saying? People don't know how to take care of certain things. They just destroy it. Why do you think there's a bunch of broken people out here in the world? A lot of people don't know how to take care of whatever it is that God gave them or God blessed them with. Just like example, there are some mothers out here who don't have real love in their life so god bless them with the child you know what they do they turn around and abuse their child they turn around or they pimp out their child or they turn around and they finesse their child or they do everything in the world to overlook and undermine that child that god blessed them with some people are born with some demonic ass children where their kids just go around and wreak havoc dog then there are some people who get kids that it's like they wouldn't harm a fly Peep game, dog. These, this, this stuff happens in life, for real. Just like example, this is something I see a lot that's very common. And I only state it for women because this is something that's growing out of hand by the day. I've seen women with multiple children, i.e. multiple baby daddies, get one dude that's decent and decide to be like hell and, 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 and hot water to the dude. Like, yo, if I were you, I'd behave myself because you're not that hot, my nigga. You're like a car that has like hella mileage on it. I don't care how damn good the car looks. The car requires a lot. You get what I'm saying? Some people don't sit down and think about stuff like this. Oh, I'm a baddie or I'm this or I'm, I make money. Who's going to want to be around that, bro? Nobody's gonna, it's damn near gonna be one of them people who's gonna use you, dog. That's gonna have to put up with that, dog. Some people don't know that they're a challenge on their own and they're the reason why nothing ever really flows through them or comes to them, dog. They just dismantle everything. I see this shit all day long. Females who got hella kids and the dude that's messing with you or decide to talk to you probably has no kid or one. He's the prize in that situation. He don't have to be there. If he picks up and leave, who's going to be the one that's going to that's gonna guide all of your children if their fathers aren't in their life, dog? That's a big mess that somebody has to come behind and clean up, dog. Some people don't think like this. Some people feel like because, yo, the ball is in my court. It's a woman's world now, this, that, and the third. Your ass is going to find out very hard. Very, very, you're going to find out very quick in the, like, the worst way that it's not a woman's world. They just tricked you into thinking that. If you want something in life and you choose to go about it in an ill-advised way or forfeit what it is that God gave to you, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to cry when shit hits the fan, bro. I see this all day long with from females, dog. And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of sad, but I don't really care because low-key this shit's funny. When people don't want to listen, dog, here's a grand saying. If you don't want to hear, you're going to feel. So if somebody's trying to talk to you and give you advice or guidance and you don't want to listen, guess what? Your ass is going to have to pay for it. Just like example, you have females out here who just love the fast dudes, just love the fastness. Fast life, fast life, fast life. You're living like the rabbit. What happens when you crash out? Who's going to be there to help you? I see these stories all day long. I've seen people who feel like they've been road running for the longest. They ain't never going to slow down. Next thing you know, they got to slow down. It's like, yo, what happened, road runner? 
You got to pay attention. This is this is some real, bro. Like, if I could show you, that's why I said eventually a lot of these uh, lives and what, like, like not lives, but I'm going to start doing reaction videos because there's some videos I've seen that if people see this stuff and you sit down and think about it, it'll make you think. Like, if you could feel what's going on in the video, it'll make you sit down and think like, yo, maybe I need to stop being so reckless. There are people out here who dodge bullets, and there are some people who cannot dodge them. So they just end up in problems and predicament. Don't be one of these people, dog, who throw their life away because you didn't want to listen, or when somebody, God gave you somebody genuine, you chose to <laughs> get over on them instead of just being real and showing that person love. Some people, here's the thing. This is something I'm learning again. Some people do have the love to give. They just feel like you're not deserving. That's a sad part. There are some people who move like this. Oh, you're already good. You don't need anything. I'll go give it to this person who needs it. I never knew that. So it's like a person could see certain things. Uh huh. Yeah, it is what it is. No, you're not going to get it. I'll go over here. Like, that's why there's so much confusion in the world, bro. And everybody's running around doing whatever it is that they please without stopping and thinking. The world has changed, bro. Marriage is not marriage anymore. And I'm going to be honest. I'm starting to think for real, marriage has got to be like low-key a scam, my nigga. It's a scam. Just like child support. There's a lot of things in this world that's a scam that's not fair. And guess who has to pay a part of this? Good has to suffer for evil. I'm pretty sure there are some people. This is so true, bro. You don't have to believe me. There are people. You got to know somebody like this. Or if not, you've heard of somebody like this. I know of dudes who aren't shit. Who don't pay child support. Don't pay child support. But there are some good, hardworking dudes. You... Your ass is going to get put on child support. People play this game, dog. I see this shit. And it's scary, it's scary as hell. Because you could literally be a person living your life in a good way, trying to be upright, stand up, and guess what happens? You get screwed over. Be careful of what you do in life, bro. And if you know that you're trying to overlook somebody or forfeit somebody or using somebody as a come up or a lick, you're going to pay for it. How do you not know that that's not the person that God blessed you with? So much people run around in the world thinking, oh, it's something out there. The grass is greener. The grass is greener. Oh, I'm living for my friends. or I'm living for the world. That's like rule number one in the Bible, dog. You shouldn't be living for the world. Living for the world is going to cause you to lose out in life. You get what I'm saying? Don't do that, bro. If anything, just be mindful of the choices that you make. Be mindful of who it is that you're keeping up a, a front for and the friends that you're putting on a show for. Because when them same friends laugh at you for throwing certain things away, guess what? They're not going to be there for you. They're just going to continue to laugh at you because they have enough common sense to know what you have. Don't be one of these stupid people out here in the world, bro. Be smart and be stand up. Don't, don't, don't throw, don't forfeit something that God gave you, dog, just to be a dumbass and hang out and have fun, bro. 444 The World.